Welcome to our channel today, as we bring you the top 10 celebrities you didn't know played in Marvel movies. Before we continue, please click on the subscribe button to get more notification from us. The Marvel Cinematic Universe is no longer filled with big stars. Before the Hulk and Lupita join the fight in Nyonga Wakanda, and before Mark Rufa turns around, Marvel movies are packed with celebrities. Going back 10 years, if you hadn't made a recent film before the release of Avengers Infinity War, you would have seen from a lot of big characters and actors about completely missing or rising stars. Insider surrounds actors you forgot to appear in Marvel movies of the last decade. We are watching 19 Marvel Cinematic Universe movies that have been released exclusively. It does not include X-Men movies from the Fox and Sony Spider-Man saga. Some of them are easier to remember than others. Sir Ben Kingsley plays the odd villain in Iron Man, and Dan Cheadle replaces Terrence Howard as War Machine. Before hitting like the Hulk on the ruffle, it was Edward Norton, the big green guy. Continue reading to see what stars appear on the MCU. Due to the MCU ensemble's sheer size, it is easy to forget all the previous characters. When you consider reboots and Marvel images built outside the comic universe, we all loved it. And we dropped a lot of excellent celebrity guest roles from our minds. Number 10 is Jenna Coleman. Jenna Coleman acted in Captain America, The First Avenger. In Captain America, The First Avenger, Jenna Coleman played Bucky's date to the Stark Expo. In the first Captain America movie, Jenna Coleman had a small part. Coleman went to a potential technology exhibit with Bucky Barnes before being carried away in the TARDIS. She played the role of Bucky Bo, making everyone else jealous. Jenna Coleman became world famous in 2012 when she played Dr. Hulo Clara. The year before, she had a part in Captain America, the first Avenger. But some of us noticed because we did not know what to look for. Coleman Connie, Bucky Burns, shines on the date at the Stark Expo, and you starred in the role of Miss It. It was a fun moment for her fans to look back now as she was heading to her series Victoria. Jenna Coleman had a small role in the first Captain America movie. Before she was taken away in the TARDIS, Coleman attended an exhibit on future technology with Bucky Barnes. Number 9 is Eric Dane. Eric Dane in X-Men, The Last Stand. Back in 2006, Eric Dane began steaming our TV screens as Dr. Mark Sloan in Grace Anatomy. But before his work at Seattle Grace, he played a completely different role. In X-Men, Multiple Man, The Last Stand, he showed self-fake power. That said, while the film may not be as great, it gave us a bonus. Number 8 is A.D. Bryant. A.D. Bryant in Spider-Man 2. She had a talk with the web-slinger on her own. Tom Holland stole our hearts in 2017 as Peter Parker. However, some of us will always be sad that the Amazing Spider-Man franchise and Andrew Garfield played the iconic role. These pictures provided some fun moments. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 presents A.D. Bryant of Saturday Night Live as a woman dressed in the Statue of Liberty costume. Sure, it's not a meat character, but Bryant was able to show off his comedic prowess even in his few seconds on screen. Number 7 is Seth Green. Howard the Duck, sitting on a ledge, sipping a drink. Seth Green voiced this character. Seth Green has been decades of an actor, but his voice is almost more prominent than his face, thanks to shows like Family Guy and Robot Chicken, too. Therefore, it makes sense that his hilarious guest role in Guardians of the Galaxy is a voiceover character. Gotzi played the role of Green and genius, boozy-loving Howard the Duck in both films. And given his extraordinary skill in crafting the minor parts, we can see or at least hear about the Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Seth Green appeared briefly in Iron Man 2 before taking on the role of Howard the Duck in 2014's Guardians of the Galaxy. Green appeared briefly as a fan in an elevator as Tony Stark was leaving the Stark Expo. Years later, he returned to the Marvel Universe to voice Howard the Duck, a captive of the collector Benicio del Toro in Guardians of the Galaxy, and its sequel. Number 6 is Miguel Ferrer. Miguel Ferrer in Iron Man 3. The popular actor had a notable role, Marvel Studios. When it comes to character cast, Miguel Ferrer is the best. Even though fans never knew his name, they got into the habit of watching it pop up on their favorite movies and TV shows. He is best known for his work on cult hits such as Robocop and Twin Peaks. Rodriguez had a memorable turn in Iron Man 3 as vice president. Ferrer passed away in 2017. Number 5 is Olivia Munn. Olivia Munn in Iron Man 2. Her journalism degree may have helped her to nab this job. We all know that Psylocke played a role in the apocalypse. Before she joined the mutants, she had a minor Marvel role in MCU. 
He played the part of a TV reporter in Iron Man 2 named Mun Chess Roberts, a character who was so small that it surprised fans who thought she might be holding the Scarlet Witch's role. Number four is Ty Burrell. Ty Burrell in The Incredible Hulk. It's so difficult to see how they would have fitted him to go on in the world. In The Incredible Hulk, Ty Burrell played Leonard, Bruce Banner's pal and Betty's original love interest. Ty Burrell played Bruce Banner's psychotherapist, Dr. Leonard Sampson, in 2008's The Incredible Hulk before Mark Ruffalo took over the role. Don't get us wrong, we actually love Bruce Banner as Mark Ruffalo, and the Hulk has no choice. But The Incredible Hulk, a 2008 film that failed to produce its franchise, had its merits as well. For example, Tyre Burrell, Leonard Sampson, Banner's psychologist. The character is well suited to the modern family star and his unique comedy. They could not include him in the MCU. Number three is Joel McHale. Joel McHale in Spider-Man 2. He didn't speak much, but when he did, we heard his speech. In 2004, when Spider-Man 2 reached theaters, Joel McHale started to be the face of thanks for his hosting appearance in The Soup. It is easy to miss his bit character in the role of Mr. Jax, the bank manager by Peter Parker, during Dr. Octopus's attack. He was able to present one of his lines to an impressive level with irony. Number two is David Bradley. In Captain America, David Bradley, the first Avenger. To some of us, he's the angry Argus Filch in Harry Potter's Hogwarts. For others, he may be pushing Walder Frey out of the Game of Thrones. And for others still, he is quite simply the first Doctor. David Bradley has played memorable roles in some of the world's favorite movies and TV franchises. So it's no surprise that he eventually earned a place in the MCU. Captain America, the character actor who plays the church keeper who guards Tesseract in The Avengers First. For a few seconds, he was just on our screens, but was still able to consolidate his status as one of those in everything. David Bradley played a church keeper in the film. Bradley has recently appeared on FX's The Strain. Number one is Natalie Dormer. Natalie Dormer and Chris Evans in Captain America, the first Avenger. During the war, she played a fellow soldier. Natalie Dormer starred before appearing in the Game of Thrones as Private Lorraine, who stole a kiss from Steve Rogers in Captain America, the first Avenger. In the movie, Natalie Dormer had a small role. Private Lorraine of Dormer began seducing Rogers as soon as she learned who he was. Like her replica of Game of Thrones, Natalie Dormer gained a reputation in Hollywood for being able to cross genres and blockbusters alike. Without a doubt, her most famous role to date is Marjorie Tyrell, where she has topped some of the top projects such as The Tudors and The Hunger Games. Play her small role in Captain America, The First Avenger. Like Lorraine, she doesn't get much screen time. While not a breakthrough contribution to the genre, Steve Rogers impresses with his straightforward tough guy style. Thanks for viewing this video. Hit the like button to like this video and also hit the comment button in other to drop your comment.